All right. First of all, if this this spot right here, you're all probably wondering about this. You're like, ew, gross. What is that? Yesterday, my dog cut himself on the barbed wire fence that's that our neighbors have or whatever. I don't like our dog. He's not smart. Well, I like our dog, but he's just really not smart. And so we were trying to bandage him up and you know shave around the wound, everything, so he could clean it out, bandage it up. Uh, and he did not like that. He kicked us in the face. <laughs> or kicked me in the face, mostly. But yeah, this is uh, Boo Boo from Dog. <laughs> Anyways, Knuckles versus Donkey Kong Death Battle. <laughs> also, I got a haircut. Not a very good one, though. It's kind of blech. Alright, three, two, one, go! My money is on Donkey Kong. I mean, I like Knuckles a lot, he's my favorite Sonic character, but I really, Guardians really think Donkey Kong has this. Of justice. And prove that if you've got enough brute strength, you don't need to be smart to kick some serious Just ass. Donkey Kong's Donkey feats Kong are way more insane than Knuckles. And Knuckles the Echidna, guardian of the all-powerful Master Emerald. Mm -hmm. We've already established that Mario and Sonic-related power-ups counter each other. For mm -hmm. example, DK's Strong Kong could counter Hyper Knuckles, so for this fight, we'll be sticking to the bare essentials. He's mm -hmm. on Boomstick, and it's our job Plus, Hyper Knuckles is not canon. And skills to find Strong out Kong is a death battle. Now this is the law of the jungle, as old mm -hmm. and as true as the sky. The ones that shall keep it may prosper, but the ones who touch Donkey Kong's banana horde must die. <laughs> See, I know literature. Well, the part's about killing, anyway. Long ago, an illegal pet gorilla <sighs> famously did battle with his abusive owner atop a construction site. The ape's name was Donkey Kong, and the conflict didn't go so well for him. After escaping, he fled to a remote island with his son, also named Donkey Kong. <laughs> his son would later for a second there, I thought they were going to get forget the... Rule actual story this powerful ape was named you guessed it donkey kong being a gorilla donkey kong naturally i thought they were going to forget that the original donkey kong is this donkey kong's grandfather like stems and bamboo shoots and sometimes turtles but good they remembered so that's okay well this gorilla loves bananas so much that he's hoarded hundreds for himself and if someone tries to take away any of his delicious golden treasures may god help them and yet his enemies have been bold enough to steal his entire stockpile several times. Right out he does not need all those. That's what happens when you hog every I mean, I know gorillas eat a lot, but he really does not need all those. Donkey Kong weighs 800 pounds and stands about 8 feet tall. That's almost twice as big Woo! as a normal gorilla. He spends his afternoons as if he were a Florida native by finding ways to kill crocodiles, such as crushing them with his sheer weight, chucking barrels at them like his old man, or just straight up punching them to death. The strength this ape wields is so tremendous nice. his very palms can shake the earth. And his trademark yes, because that was totally Earth. <laughs> the horizon. But just because he's strong doesn't mean he's slow. He can unleash a flurry of blows so fast he ignites the hydrogen in the air, creating explosions. This is Falcon Punch. A meteor catching fire while falling through the atmosphere at 25,000 miles per hour. I'm telling you, Wiz, it's only a matter of time before the apes take over. <laughs> While common gorillas have been There's already movies about it. By using basic tools, <laughs> Donkey Kong is a little beyond that. Performing for you. Yeah, if you know the shotgun. words, you like, can join in too. Put your hands no, together. If you want to Funky clap Kong as we take you through this monkey rap. <laughs> It can fire in spurts, and if he shoots you, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> At least, that's what the DK rap tells us. But what it doesn't tell us is that the series of grunts you hear from the Kongs is actually them speaking their own language. Really? I wonder what he's saying. Banana Slammer! <laughs> Banana Slammer! Banana Slammer! Please, stop reminding of us of the TV show. Mostly just that. It's Sometimes he sings too. From on top of the white mountain. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Okay, I know I watched some of this show, but I do not. 
not remember there being any musical numbers, like, at all. Oh, there were two in every episode. Forty episodes in all. Your brain likely shut down while watching to protect your fragile consciousness. I shower you with coconut cream pies. Good one, brain. I owe you a beer. Donkey Kong has done some ridiculous things. With a clap of his hands, he can create a shockwave strong enough to shatter meteors. Also, I exaggerate nothing when I say he ate an entire plantation of bananas in a single afternoon. He's agile enough to dodge arrows on a narrow ledge. So he can eat a lot. I don't know how that's like a feat worthy of noting in a battle. Most impressively, after surviving an explosion that launched him into orbit, he used a fully charged giant punch to send a moon careening into the planet. He apparently expands his power by using both his bananas and his body hair. Like a monkey Burt Reynolds. If he gets a haircut, though, he loses his power and looks really weird. Wow, I... Wow. Well, perhaps he Samson is linked to his greatest weakness. You see, Donkey Kong is kind of an idiot. We're talking about an ape who didn't realize he was following his own treasure map until after he found the bananas it led to. Or while suffering from amnesia, a pirate crocodile was able to convince him that he was a crocodile. You mean King K. Rule, not a pirate Donkey crocodile. Joined in, singing about or is that a different? Okay, that's not, not King K. Rule. He's also just as lazy as he is <laughs> stupid. One time, he and Diddy were making a killing selling frozen coconuts and could have had all the bananas they ever wanted. But the simple task of just cracking coconuts open all day was too strenuous for the big ape. So he sold the business for a couple measly bananas. Bananas are the only motivator that seem to work on DK. But they're also the only one he Ooh. needs to bring out the big guns. If something separates him from his precious fruit stockpile, someone is going to die. Yep. Stopping me this time. Not a do it. You're gonna stop because that's what you do when you're faced with an irresistible force. <laughs> uh. They need to make another Donkey Kong TV show, but like a good one, one where he doesn't talk. <laughs> Advanced technology and talent for warfare. Now that's what I call a pet. I know what I'm picking up at the pet store on the way home. Just a heads up, the males have four heads on their penises. What? I did not need to see that. <laughs> Desperate for the power to command the world. The Echidnas are probably the national the animal of Boomstick. The power of the Master Emerald. <laughs> what they didn't know was that it was protected by a giant murderous water dragon with tentacles <laughs> named Chaos. And it just killed the Tentacles. Shit out of them. Japan. a young echidna girl survived and managed to seal chaos inside the master emerald. The resulting energy output ripped the echidna's home into the sky to become Angel Island, perpetually floating so long as the emerald remained in its shrine. Mm -hmm. Sonic lore, everybody. Centuries later, one that's, final descent. Oh come on, that's actually a pretty good story. And his name was. It's interesting. Knuckles. So not the most creative parenting in the world, but hey. Knuckles is the lone guardian of the Master Emerald, dedicating his entire life to protecting the family jewel. Eh, but he spends most of his days sleeping and doing nothing, because really, yep. who's gonna fly <laughs> all the way up to a tiny floating island just to steal a rock? Eggman. Why the nefarious Dr. Eggman, of Duh. course. As a ploy, Eggman convinced Knuckles that... And Sanic magically he knows how to get there. ...two tails plan to steal the Master Emerald. Knuckles left to stop the thieves, and Eggman swiped the gem for himself. Not mm -hmm. the sharpest head on the dick, is he? Without its <coughs> out of the sky. <coughs> Why? Dog literally beat the sense into Knuckles, and together they saved the day, mm. forming a tense bromance. Sounds like you've got an inferior Why? complex. Huh? I have a what? Oh, nothing. Never mind. They drew Knuckles weird there. He's all then, in proportion to try to guard the emerald. However, most people who try to steal it do. But luckily mm -hmm. for old Rad Red, he can track the master emerald using his treasure hunting skills and his special bond with the gem, which allows him to detect its presence and harness some of its power, which he can focus through the ancient martial art <sighs> passed down through the Knuckles clan. The ancient art of, of punching crap out of everything. Oh. No, really. <laughs> that's the answer to every single problem Knuckles has. Something I got one word right. Punch it. Need to climb a cliff? Punch it. Falling down a trap? Punch it. Punching <laughs> not working for some reason? You fucking know he punches it. <laughs> this episode. Your 
you're taking this breaking and entering business way too literally. Speaking <laughs> of which, Knuckles can throw punches so extreme they create explosions by igniting hydrogen in the air. Sounds familiar? Mm -hmm. Knuckles is fast, capable of running at least 100 miles per hour. He can also <laughs> take to the sky and glide, reportedly by trapping air underneath. So why does it always have to be igniting hydrogen in the air? Why can't it just be random explosions out of nowhere? Not everything has to be science whiz. And again, he could be twirling his dick. And with the spikes on his fist, Knuckles can effortlessly dig through <laughs> dirt and rock. Add on his attachable shovel claws, and he can even tunnel through solid metal. Mm. With arms that stringy, it makes you wonder where all this strength comes from. Well, his connection with the Master Emerald is responsible for much of his more absurd attributes, mm -hmm. like gliding and punching explosions. Nux can shatter boulders, dodge machine guns, ride atop flying jets and missiles like skateboards. Oh, and he can breathe in space. He's matched and even trumped Sonic in battle, runs fast enough to cut holes in the ground, is strong enough to uproot massive trees. Hell, he's strong enough to throw this. With a single punch, mm. he can trigger a volcanic eruption. Doing so requires displacing pressure in a volcano's magma chamber. At minimum, this can sit around 3,280 feet or one kilometer below the Earth's surface. Mm -hmm. Knuckles <laughs> had to have punched the ground with that Taking feats from a clip in a theme song. <laughs> now they're really digging. Times more powerful than the highest yield bomb in the known US nuclear stockpile. Now I really think Donkey Kong's got this because they're trying to have they're trying really hard to look for feats. Blew up half the moon and rebuilt it into a robot moon because well, he gets off on that shit. Via remote control, Eggman actually changed the moon's orbit to create a never-ending eclipse. But never fear, Knuckles just dove out into outer space and punched the remote control into dust, causing an explosion visible from Earth and returning the moon to its normal orbit. But having these abilities isn't enough to let him win every time, especially when his biggest obstacle is his own brain. Knuckles is illiterate, doesn't know left from right, and one time didn't realize until too late that he was eating a napkin. Hey, give credit where it's due, Wiz. When he did figure it out, he stuck to his guns and finished every bite. Okay, in Knuckles' defense, they're kind of mixing Boom Cannon with, uh, game, with the official to run actual well-known cannon so it does it is a little bit unfair but and despite being mortal they are kind of digging Knuckles for feats too like Knuckles the whole punching thing with him on multiple occasions it's happened so often by now you have to wonder who side is really so I guess it's fine his fist can blow the top of a volcano so why waste precious time on things like reasoning <sighs> what a dream boat. I want to be just like you when I grow up Knuckles, you've been elected governor all in today's work. <laughs> they just thought this was so great, didn't they? <laughs> That's not how it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this episode. They're really hyping up. They really like Knuckles. <laughs> I'm still hanging on to DK though. Ooh, we got some beats here. Hair, please be nice. I don't think I've ever seen those sprites before. That's a nice sprite. Did they custom make those? Oh, oh. Uh oh. Someone's in trouble. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat his bananas. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. You've gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh no. Again with the oh no's. <laughs> this episode. Come on, DK, you got this. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Come on, DK, come on. <clears throat> Again with the coconuts. Did he get... 
Oh, he jumped. Or dug. Oh, he dug. Yeah, he dug. <laughs> I was like, what'd he do? Find you! Oh. oh, he's toying with him. Oh, come on. No, DK. Why? Hmm, not as strong uh. as you thought you were. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I was like, no, Knuckles is wrecking him. Come on, DK. Come on. Cheering for you. This might be the first death battle I lose. I've gotten all of them right so far. Oh, I can't get one wrong now, especially when it's two characters I really, really, really like. Ooh. Minecarts. <laughs> Come on, Knuckles, you can't lift a monkey. Oh, come on. Knuckles, what did you do? Oh, no. oh. Whoa. Wait, what just happened? Did he s squish Knuckles? Nope. It, Knuckles, it's still going. Wait, what? Huh? Speed and agility, the stubborn <laughs> strategy of rushing in only played into Donkey Kong's favor by keeping close and in range. Both were tough enough to survive atmospheric re entry and the vacuum of space, but only Donkey Kong has also survived an explosion strong enough to launch him into orbit in the first place. Knuckles and DK may have punched moons, but both feats are not precisely what they seem. The moon Donkey Kong Punch belongs to the Mario universe and is clearly smaller than our own moon. By comparing its size to that of Donkey Kong mm -hmm. Island, we found this moon is approximately 2,775 feet in diameter and weighs 9.9 .9 quadrillion tons. Mm -hmm. Knocking it out of orbit means DK punched it with a strike of over 3,000 megatons of force. So not quite as impressive as punching our real moon, but hey, still way better than what Knuckles can do. Knuckles only destroyed a receiver controlling the moon's flight path. And although the moon's orbit mm -hmm. changed afterwards, it's unreasonable to say Knuckles is responsible. He has no other feet supporting this outlier, and the moon was previously established to move itself due to being part robot now. Sonic lore. Knuckles' <laughs> feet wasn't enough when DK was just that much stronger and tough enough to take anything thrown at him. Mm -hmm. DK just wasn't a kidnaying around. The winner is Donkey Kong. Woo! I was right! How am I doing this? Next time on Alright, who's, who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Oh. Please t please show us who's fighting him. Don't do the Don't do the thing. Don't do the thing. Don't do the thing. Don't do the Oh, they hey guys, did the thing. Of Death Battle. I'm going to play I, I, I. and next time See you next time. Green. But who is he going to be fighting? Be sure to stay tuned. Who is he going to be fighting? Woohoo. Ooh, continue pouring out your social media. Let